So I just released a video discussing the roadmap to becoming a smart contract auditor. And I wanted to basically share my journey and the steps that I took to become a smart contract auditor so that firstly, you could see what the process looks like when it's sort of brought into reality. And second, so that hopefully you can sort of learn about the track that I took and apply it on your own journey as you become a smart contract auditor. But first, who am I? My name is Owen, and over a year ago, I founded Guardian Audits. And ever since then, we've audited hundreds of smart contracts and uncovered dozens of critical and high vulnerabilities. And my goal is to distill down everything I've learned over this past year plus and give it to you so that you can learn much faster than I did and ultimately become a much better smart contract auditor than I ever could be. All right, so let's get right into my journey as a smart contract auditor. Great, so first of all, I do wanna start by saying that yes, I did have a background in computer science before I got in to Web3. I think that a lot of people tend to leave that out when they describe the process to becoming an auditor. And I just wanna be as transparent as possible. However, this does not mean by any means that it is necessary to get a degree in computer science or mathematics like I did. A degree is by no means necessary. And I would even recommend that you potentially skip getting any sort of degree if you did want to become a productive Web3 developer and smart contract auditor as quickly as possible. It's going to be a lot of hard work regardless, but hopefully I can make it a tiny bit easier by sharing everything that I've learned and my experience along the way. Okay, great. So how did I get into Web3? It was the very beginning of 2021 and I was actually bootstrapping a micro micro SaaS app with my best friend and co-founder Daniel. And we were, we were literally so small, we had less than 10 paying actual users for the entire app. And what we were doing is we were helping small e-commerce brands get followers and make sales on Instagram with automation. It was absolutely without a doubt the hardest I've ever worked, but also the best time of my life. We were shipping new features that our users wanted to use every single week and it felt so amazing to be able to get their feedback and immediately iterate and improve the app to their liking. We were getting great results for our users and everything was going absolutely fantastic until suddenly Instagram had updated their platform in such a way that basically invalidated our software app and there was essentially no other choice but to turn our SaaS app off and let our beloved users go. Essentially, we learned the hard way why you shouldn't build on top of third-party systems that you cannot control. For a few months after this, we were basically in limbo. We didn't know exactly where to go, what niche, what market to get into. And we tried many things. We tried making a, a web app builder. We tried Forex journal trading software. We tried software developer hiring software. We tried LinkedIn lead generation. We tried e-commerce coaching. And the list just goes on and on. But around this same time, Bitcoin had precipitously dropped from around 60,000 to something like 30,000 in the matter of just a few weeks. This was in May of 2021. And the crash basically just raised alarm bells in my head. At this point, I really had no opinion on Bitcoin or crypto in general. And I immediately just started to research everything I could about Bitcoin and blockchain technology in general. In the entire time as I was learning about this new foreign land, the famous Warren Buffett quote just reverberated throughout my head. Sometimes it's not about how fast you row your boat, but how fast the stream is going. I really wanted to make sure that wherever we ended up next, we ended up in a roaring stream. And basically shortly after reading Mastering Ethereum and understanding all of the sheer possibilities and ways that this marketplace can grow, I decided to dive straight in to the smart contract space. And I basically began by just investing in DeFi projects and subsequently learning everything I could about DeFi. And this was around the time where ohm forks were really, really taking off. So naturally I got really interested in 
the Olympus model and slowly came to understand this model at a really deep level. And I saw an opportunity to create a new kind of optimizer vault that optimized these rebase tokens. So right away, me and my friend Daniel started development immediately. We spent months just learning the process of smart contract development and building out our vault. And this is where I really became familiar with Solidity as a language and the common roadblocks that Web3 developers have to deal with. Through this, I really became familiar with pull over push design, reentrancy attacks, and upgradability patterns. And after many, many weeks of nonstop testing, iteration, and reading the code over and over again, we decided that we were getting ready for launch. So we engaged an audit firm because of course, we knew that we didn't know every single exploit and we wanted to get a second opinion on the code. The audit took roughly a week, if I recall. And when we got the report back, there were actually no findings, nothing significant at all. It seems like they basically just ran a few scripts and honestly might not have even really looked at the code. And so basically after blowing our whole budget for this audit, we knew that the security of our protocol basically fell into our hands now. So what we do is we start researching smart contract security as incessantly as we can. We basically scour the internet to find anything and everything we can related to security and pour over all of these resources and try to index them into our brain and think about how these can break our current system. We write thousands of lines of tests. We learn about static analysis and fuzzing and security really envelops our entire life. My roommate at the time even told me that in my sleep, I was even talking about Web3 security and stuff like this. And during this time, we actually found several vulnerabilities and bugs that the so-called audit did not uncover. And it becomes abundantly clear to us that there is a big issue here. There was absolutely no way that we could have afforded the exorbitant fees levied by top audit firms. And it seemed like any other firm that was within our budget was on the order of magnitude of soaking a few thousand dollars in a toilet. So immediately we devised a new model that solved the issues that we experienced with the auditing process. And that was pay per vulnerability. We would charge just simply a small down payment just to book the audit and then only charge more if we actually uncovered real vulnerabilities that the protocol owners would care about. This way we, first of all, just removed the risk of spending thousands of dollars on a report that basically told you nothing. And we, effectively aligned the incentives of the client and the auditors so that the auditors were highly incentivized to actually go and really pour over the code even more so than if they were just paid a flat fee. And so we basically went and founded Guardian Audits. And ever since then, we've been offering pay per vulnerability audits to all sorts of protocols throughout the space. And that's basically been my journey as I initially got into being a smart contract auditor. And I am absolutely still on this journey, learning and growing every single day. And I really look forward to learning from everybody else in the community and continuing to grow with you guys. If you want to embark on the rest of this journey with me, go ahead and check out our community of like-minded auditors at lab.guardianaudits.com. Here you can meet and learn hundreds of like-minded smart contract auditors who are all trying to grow and become the best smart contract auditors that they can be. All right, friends, that's all I have for this time. I'll see you in the next one.